Why are you so slim? Why are you so thin? Excuse me. Why are you doing that, my boy? Who asked you questions? It's so annoying. You are distracting. You are distracting me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you about my pet peeve. I know you guys enjoy my sit down talk videos more than my hair videos because I have noticed. And um, yeah, someone said I should do another get to know me video, but of course I've done that before. So instead of doing another get to know me video, I thought I would tell you guys my pet peeves. So if you don't know what pet peeves are, I am quickly going to explain that to you. Pet peeves are things that people do that you know, like these are things that just get on your nerves when someone close to you do them or when you see someone doing them or when someone does it to you so that's what pet peeves are so i have a list of things that just annoy the hell out of me and get me pissed off and just grind my gear so today i'm going to be telling you all of that i am very very sure out of this list i am not the only one who would have a particular pet peeve if you listen to this video and we have the same pet peeves we just Leave them down in the comment section or just tell me about your pet peeves. Let us all rant about them together. So let's just get right into the video. Hi, before we get into the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel. Have you subscribed? Yeah, I know you've not. So subscribe, yes. And um, I know you've not watched this video yet, but just hit the like button, okay? Just give this video a thumbs up and make sure you turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video, okay? Yeah, so let's begin. My first pet peeve is when someone tells me to do something when i am about to do it like can you just stop can you just leave me alone okay take for instance my mom walks into the kitchen and i am standing by the sink about to wash the plates and then she goes you should wash the plates ah, oh god i am about to do them right now can't you see i'm about to do them <laughs> okay this other day i was in the kitchen cooking and it's my younger sister with me in the kitchen and then she goes i'll be putting the seasoning wait first of all i came into this earth before you i know how to cook and whether or not you're in the kitchen this food will turn out fine so why are you telling me what to do it is so annoying like it is it is so annoying it is just so annoying so yeah that is my first pet peeve the next pet peeve i have is when we take your bath and leave the scum on the wall like you know that foam that comes out from your soap that part can't you just raise it off the wall like what is wrong with you i do not even care if i'm going to go to wash the wall say i want to take my bath and i come inside and i see the wall is just messed up can you just be clean can you <laughs> oh gosh yeah it really annoys the hell out of me like my friends know this i'll tell you i'll call you back I'll call you back and I'll tell you you should raise the wall next time because you're not a pig okay yes the next pet peeve I have is when I'm watching a movie and someone start telling me the movie I'm watching okay maybe you've watched the movie and then you're trying to narrate it to me excuse me excuse me I I am watching a movie right now like can't you see I'm watching a movie? <laughs> Can you just let me watch my movie in peace? Who, who asked you? Who asked you? Why are you doing the room? Why are you doing that, my boy? Who asked you questions? It's just so annoying. You are distracting. You are distracting me. If I wanted you to tell me about the movie, I would have asked you instead of sitting down there in front of the TV or in front of my laptop or in, using my phone and then you're disturbing the, my peace, my peace of mind. Can you just let me watch my movie in peace? Thank you. Another pet peeve I have is when people tell me or tell someone around me that they are too short or too fat. Okay, I don't know what your business is with my weight or with my height. First of all, I did not create myself. So when I'm tall or short, it's none of your business. Yeah, I know I'm not a very tall person. And yeah, I might be that tall, but you don't have to tell people and then the one that really annoys me is when you see someone and then you'll be like hey you've added weight oh <laughs> i have added weight can't you see that i am doing well for myself can't you see i am fine you know it's just so annoying when it comes to that weight part because some people are really struggling to lose weight and then some people are really doing a lot 
really doing a lot to add up and then you go why are you so slim why are you so thin you know they chop oh my god can you just mind your business or then they tell you ah you are too fat oh are you the one buying my clothes are you the one okay so this next one i know many people may not find this funny or may think i am just being i am not judging anyone i i'm a big supporter of do what you want to do and it's your life and just you know you can you are actually free to do whatever you want to do but i don't like it when people smoke cigarettes around me like <sighs> you know when you go out let's say we're having an outdoor hangout and then you know people are sitting sitting there and of course you know that not everyone smokes and with your common sense you don't know that you're not supposed to do that where people are and then you just light this thing wait what are you trying to do are you trying to choke me to death are you trying to kill me and then it's just annoying because I think they said you when you inhale this thing it's just as like you are also smoking that cigarette right because I don't even know what people get out of smoking first of all you are doing harm to your body don't you like yourself another pet peeve I have is when people have a problem with me and then they don't say it but they go around telling people you get like are you a child if I've done something to you or if you have an issue with me, I feel like you can just come to me and tell me about because that is what I'll do. I am not scared of you. You cannot beat me. Eh? So, you just tell me what or, and you just tell me what I've done and tell me what the problem is. Don't go about telling my business or our business to other people. For goodness sake. It's a different issue if you've tried talking to me and I, you know, act in a certain way. But then, you've not come to tell me anything i don't even know you're mad at me or i've done something to you and then you go tell our business outside are you okay are you okay another pet peeve i have is when people lie for no reason oh my gosh if you know me well you know when it comes to telling lies that is one thing i detest like with passion oh my god it it can drive me crazy when like I am not going to beat you. Nobody is going to kill you if you just tell. Me. And then the worst part is when you keep telling, like, oh gosh, it's just so easy. I don't know why people don't get this, but it's just so easy to tell people the truth. Like, seriously, I am an advocate. See, whether or not, see, last, last, eh, you're going to just slap me or you're going to beat me there. And I'll pick myself up and my injuries will heal. But it's, there's no point telling lies. And then these people just tell lies. Without, without even thinking, without even, let me just tell you the lies as if you are stupid. It's so annoying. Don't, don't lie. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that close to me. Don't do that to me. Don't tell me lies. Another pet peeve I have is when people try to have conversations with me when I'm wearing my headphones. Like, can't you see I'm just trying to mind my business here? And I'm not talking about when you're trying to ask me a serious question or tell me something important. I am minding my own business here, listening to a song. And you don't even know I am currently in the music video, like in my head. That's what I'm listening to. I am in the music video, acting it out, and then you come to disturb my peace. And it's just crazy, like, you know, when you're trying to take a stroll, for instance, and I'm walking down the street, and then this guy just walks up to you, and of course, it starts with the whole, hello, excuse me, hi, can you hear me? You can see I'm not answering you. Can you just go back? Then they go for that to tap you. Hey, sister. And of course, me, I'm thinking they are lost or they need help with finding somewhere. And I take off my headphones. And they'll, they'll be like, can I have one minute? Okay, one minute. What do you want? Are you lost? They say, no. I just want to talk to you. Talk to me about what? Well, I, I, I don't know. I Maybe we should work together. Wait, 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 first of all. Did I tell you I came out of my house to work together with you? It's even worse when you're in a cab and then this passenger tries to talk to you like Yes, Abuja is so nice It's so fast today, like there's no traffic Yeah, I know 
I put back my headphones. And then the person goes again. Um, I don't know, but do you know what I has noticed? Oh my God. Why? I am trying to have my own time here. Okay? I don't want to make friends. I just want to be by myself. Another pet peeve I have is when people leave the room and then they leave the door open. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh gosh. <laughs> I know you walked into the room with either the curtains closed properly or the door closed. Now, when you're going out, it's just nice. It is just right to lock the door. And then I am already laying down on my bed or maybe sitting on the chair and then you leave the room and then I have to stand up to go lock the door. Why? Why are you stressing me? Why? I really hate it when people don't have their WhatsApp blue tick on. Yeah. Personally, I think those people are cowards. I think those people are just, you know, dishonest. Like, if you're going to ignore somebody, bar, ignore the person with your chest. You don't have to. Like, we're all grown-ups. If you read somebody's message and you don't want to reply them, do it. Just let them know you've read the message and you don't want to. Like, I just, I really, if, see, if you know me personally, you, there are just some things, like, if you text me and you don't have a blue tick, what's a blue tick? It makes me super, super uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. And I try as much as possible not to talk to these people because I keep wondering why. Because it's just annoying when I don't know whether you've read my message or not. Yeah. So I don't see, I don't mind you hiding your last scene, but your blue tick, if you're going to, if, why, why are you hiding it? If you're going to ignore me, please ignore me with your chest. Ignore me. With your head up high, like, you know, just let me know you're ignoring me. Let the person know you're ignoring the person. You don't have to hide it. I don't like to chat with people who have their WhatsApp booting off. So, if you know I hardly chat with you and you have your WhatsApp booting off, yeah, that's the reason. Don't do that. I am very sure I'm not the only one who has some of these pet peeves. So, don't forget, leave them in the comment section below if you have the same pet peeves. Or just tell me about your pet peeves. Let us all talk about them together in the comment section. I'll surely, surely reply to you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are my pet peeves. And if you can relate to anything, make sure you leave them in the comment section. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? I am trying to get to 1K. Guys, you guys should push me up to 1K. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.